Hey guys, back for another one. As you can probably see in front of me there, I've got a few rigs made up. This one I was just going to do my favourite offshore fishing rigs. Okay, uh, a lot of people do ask me what type of rigs I run, or and I used to run over the years and for all the fish I've caught. So what I've just done here is made up, I think five, maybe six of my favourite rigs. What I'm going to do is just show you the rigs uh, and tell you what species I chase chase with them and whereabouts I use them, okay? I'm not going to go through step by step on how to make them up. Some of these rigs, I've already done videos for that. And if I was doing that, it'll take way too long. And plus, plus most of these rigs, guys, you'll, you'll recognize anyway. Hopefully, I'll just help you out with where and what species to chase. Okay, so we'll get into it. First of all, we'll start off with, I've got the one here. This is my all-time favorite snapper rig. I've done videos on this before. Years ago, um, what I used to do, nothing but snapper fishing. Early morning, catch lots of snapper. I don't chase them too much nowadays, actually, bugger all. But if I was, I'd still be using this rig. This is my all-time favorite rig, okay? So basically, it's a flight line of rig. We've got two snowed hooks. I usually run five of those in octopus, not circles, it's octopus. I put a bit of Lumo tube in between the hooks. Um... The attract, it, it does, I don't know if it does attract snapper or not, it still catch plenty of snapper without the lumo, but I mainly put it there just to protect the line between the hooks. These things have got powerful jaws, and if it gets in between their teeth, it can squash the line down, so that's just a bit of a protectant. And plus, while you're float lining, you get a lot of uh, trevally, tailor, and things like that, and that just helps protect the line between the hooks. It's more of a protector than anything else. And then I've got a little bead there to stop the sink of banging on me hook. I've always done that. I've done that for 20 years or yeah, it's been a long time. Okay, so so just a basic float lining rig. And when I'm using this type of rig and this type of sinker, or I'll even smaller if I can, this one I'm using around, say, 30 metres. So the 18 fathom line, 16 fathom line, out to the 24. So I run this rig basically from 30 to about 45, 50 metres. Okay, guys. And the sink is going to depend on the current. Sometimes I'll go a little bit bigger, but most of the time I'll try and go lighter. And if I can get away with no sinker at all, and just have the Lumo tube and bead, and, okay, I will go no sinker at all. Because you just want this with a whole peely or half a yakka or half a slimy or whatever bait you're using. Just wafting down through the water column very slowly and naturally. Okay, it's a great snapper rig. And it works very well at night time, especially when a pike are driving your nuts. So float lining, and once again, I'm, when you're float lining, you can use this rig out wide in a 50 phalamus line too. You're just updating the sinker, so the sinker's gonna be quite a lot bigger for out there. Okay, so just adjust the sinker accordingly, accordingly to the current and the depth you're fishing. Takes a bit of practice, but you know, you'll get there. Okay, the next one is just a basic good old, that's a running sinker rig. So you've got a nice ball sinker there, swivel, trace down to a couple of snelled hooks. Now this rig I mainly use for jewfish, okay? And I use this one on the artificial blocks. This rig seems to work the best on the artificial blocks I found. The sinker, generally I'll run a bit bigger than that, depending on the current and the size of the live base. Like if you've got small tailor or slimies or something big and powerful, put a bigger sinker on it, you can't take this little one all over the ocean. But if there's not a lot of current and you've got those small yaks, I think like that'll be fine. You get down, hold them on the bottom, you probably just have to downgrade the hooks. Match, match the hooks the size of your bait. Don't worry about the jewfish. Match the hooks the size of the bait. Big jewfish will eat little baits and little jewfish will eat big baits. You don't want big hooks on small baits. It just doesn't work. So match the hooks the size of the bait. Adjust the sinker accordingly. Once again, depending on current and the size of your bait. But that's just a running sinker rig, okay? So you've got your sinker there, it's gonna wrap them down your line, swivel, trace to snow hooks. That's my favorite rig for fishing the artificial blocks when I'm chasing jewfish. Okay, there's those two. What else we got here? Ah, uh, this one I've done a talk on a little while ago. I have to say something about this rig though. A couple of guys have reckon it's a good rig, but they've had problems with it. Okay, so this is one of my favorite snapper rigs, especially nighttime snapper when I'm live baiting nighttime for snapper on round 18s, around 30 meters, 30 to 40 meters. Got a nice big heavy sinker trace, and then I've just got like a looper knot, uh, 
Yeah, it's a loop knot basically. It is a loop knot. And then I've just got snelled hooks with line to another loop. I've got loop to loop here, okay? And now this one's gonna go up to your, you know, you swivel off to your main line. So that's it there. This is my live bait rig for night time for snapper. And it works an absolute treat. And a few guys said it works. They've got, they've hooked some good fish, but they keep on telling me they're breaking off. So what I've got to say about this rig, this is a light line rig, okay? I don't run this heavier than, oh, 15 kilo. I usually run it on 10 kilo, 10 to 15, and you've got like four or five kilo of drag. That's all you should have. That's all you need. If you run 10 or 15 kilo on this and your drag set properly to like three, somewhere, somewhere between three to five kilo, with this rig and big snapper, you're not going to have a problem in the world. You're not going to break it. Some of the guys running this rig tell me the knots are breaking here. Well, there are a lot of knots and weak points in this. But they're, if they're breaking, you've got locked up drags, you're probably fishing 24 or 37 kilo. This is not that rig for that. Don't use this rig on heavy gear. It's not going to work. It's a light line rig, okay? So it is a very good snap, snapper rig. It works an absolute treat at night time for live baits. So you've got your sinker. You got your loop and knot, your loop knot, and then just a short trace to a snell hooks with a, that's joined there, just loop to loop. When you put a live on this, drop it down just off the bottom, it's a really good snapper rig on light line, guys. 10 kilo, 15 max, and that you won't have a problem with that rig. And if you make the rig out of 80 pound and run down 10 or 15, you're definitely not gonna have a problem, problem with it. And it catches a lot of jewies too, by the way. So also a good rig. That's me night time snapper one if I'm live bait for snapper. If is it for night time you just float lighting nowadays, there's so many pike out there and you can't put pillies in the water because the pike are just nailing it. So just stick a pike or a yakka or whatever you got on this rig, drop it down. You'll soon know if there's jewies around or big snapper. Catch a lot of big snapper that rig. Next one. We're gonna go back to basic another well you could say a float lining rig, but uh, if you want to go float lining like the 50s or beyond with big baits, this is a good one to slowly let your baits, baits go down to like 90 metres and 100 metres with a big sinker and big hooks, big bait. But what I mainly use this rig for is my Lumo sinker here and the bead and a couple of tannos. This is my live baiting for jewelry rig on the reef, okay? I don't use a running sinker rig, I use this one on the, on the reef. If I'm fishing hard reef, if I'm fishing around 16, 18 fathoms again, and fishing me little lumps and bumps, I'm using this rig. I put my yakas, slimies, tail, or whatever I've got on this. Drop them down slowly, so you drop it down slowly so the bait and the sinker stay in contact. When it gets to the bottom, I wind up about two meters, one to two meters, between one to two meters, okay, off the bottom. And then I put the rod and the rod holder in gear. And this rig does a rest. It's self hooking, you'll just watch your rod load up, okay? But remember when you put your rod and rod holder fishing this way with heavy gear, make sure your drag's set. Don't have your drag locked up, otherwise it might snap your rod. So be careful of that one. But this is my main one when I'm fishing the reefs with live bait, okay? And like I said, it's also good, you can use it for float lining, bigger sinkers, bigger hooks and stuff when you're out wide in really deep water. I'll probably go down a little bit in the sinker, just so I, you know, Go through the water column out, out wide. Uh, what about here? Here's another one. I think I just found this one in the shed. Pre-rigged with some heavy duty line. This guy is just a pattern off the rig. So, if I'm going out to say the 50s looking for a few pearlies or whatever, so I've got a big dropper, snap a load in the bottom. I do like about an arm's length between each hook and the sinkers. So there's a sinker, I do an arm's length, and then you just got your dropper knot, uh, dropper loop, okay? I put a bit of tube on there, usually Lumo tube and maybe a couple of Lumo beds or something, okay? Uh, and then generally I run a circle here. I don't know why I've got an octopus on that one, but that should be like I use a circle on this one. That's the bottom hook. With a circle, that's what I put a squid on. Then I do another arm length, okay, roughly. Another uh, loop knot. But this time I've got gang hooks on the top one. Once again, I've got some tube on there as well. Usually some limo tube or beads or something just to dress it up and protect it. And they're gang hooks. And I usually have the whole pilchard on that one. Okay? 
And then once again, another arm's length to your swivel and tie it onto your main line. That's just a Paternoster, and that looks like it's rigged on 100 pounds or something. But once again, I'd run about 80 pounds, a little bit thinner than this. I must have pre-made this for another video. So about 80 pounds would be sufficient for out there chasing pearlies and snapper and stuff, just bottom bashing with some baits on your 50s. And maybe a little bit deeper if you want. Okay, that's the other. These are just the rigs I run, guys. It's my favorite offshore fishing rigs. And the other one I do a lot of, okay, is just, just a hook. Generally a circle hook, just a hook on a leader. And I'll have one of these one of these on my rod, especially when I'm night, like um, daytime fishing and I'm out and I'm drifting around. If you're on fads or you find a dead log in the water, or like a log in the water, or something floating, or you're just seeing a school of say wahoo or dolphin fish or something go past, I always just have one, just a hook. Just a hook, that's it. On a rod sitting in the corner. So if I see dolphin fish, like I said, or a wahoo or something, school of wahoo or something go past, just put a livey on, flick a livey out, have him going around unweighted. It's just a good rod and a good way, to, you know, have a bait in the corner ready to go. Even marlin, free swimming marlin if you're trawling or you're just drifting around out wide and you see a marlin free swimming, which you quite often do over summer. Just have a circle hook on a rod on about an 80 pound trace. In the corner, ready to go. See a livey sticking that livey on through his nose and just flick him, flick him out of the side, leave the spool open, let him free swim. That's a good way to find the fish, the marlin, dolphin fish, maybe a wahoo, whatever. That's just a good good thing to have in corner, because nine times out of 10 when I'm out with people and they see all these fish around the boat, they're all scattering, you know, to run, trying to grab their rods and rig up and gears going everywhere and there's shit all over the floor and they're making a racket and the time everything's rigged up and they put the baits on and they're looking around, the fish are gone. Too late. You just want one in the corner rigged up with a circle with a circle hook on it, ready to go. Put a put a live on it quickly, whip it out, and there's a fairly good chance you're gonna catch the fish, you just saw something around. Okay. Um Well, that's pretty much it. That's my the rigs I mainly run. And I said I get all these these are the rigs I run for Jew, Cobia, um, Snapper, Pearlies, uh, mixed reef fish out wide. Okay, so I didn't mention Cobia, but this running sinker rig will work for Cobia, works very well. But the main one I use is this one of the big livey down under the boat. Like if I'm using that at night time on the race of the Jew, if I'm out of the daytime, I'll have this rig down in my Cobia spot and this one a bait down deeper, but I'll have three of these rigs. Okay, I'll have this little hookup. I'll have one big sinker, then I'll have one I'll sinker half this, I'll have a bait midwater, and then I'll have either that one unweighted or just one of the very small sinker, and he's out just under the surface. So I'll have three different depths, live baits, but all on this rig, and that's when I'm chasing cobia. Daytime and nighttime, but mainly daytime. Uh, when I find them at nighttime, you don't usually get a chance to put three rods out. When you find a school at nighttime, they usually just one, you just put down a rig or live bait, and they'll hit it and go. Um, anyway, yeah, that's that, that's that video. And I will ask guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please uh, like, and like and subscribe. It does really help me out. Um, and it will be very much appreciated, thank you. And apart from that, we'll uh, hopefully see you next week with another video. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna be on, but we'll have a look. Thanks guys.